guys, welcome back to this month's Dive the Rock. This month we're at the Tsunami Scuba Hansen facility and we just want to talk about what's going on for the month of April. So I'm here with Kira and Gary and uh, Kira, what do you guys have coming up? For the month of April we'll be celebrating Earth Day and um, around the 22nd we'll be having a beach cleanup basically to promote a healthier, cleaner environment. Gary, and what, where can I find more information? We'll be uh, posting that information on the Tsunami uh, website as well as the Facebook page. Um, more details will be forthcoming, but it'll be somewhere in the Kadena area. And anybody can join in? This is open to anybody island wide. We will provide uh, air cylinders at the site, so but you'll need to bring everything else that you need, all your equipment, weights and everything else, but we will have tanks waiting for everybody at the site. So we will supply the air, you supply the, the, the cleanup. Okay, Gary, let's talk uh, equipment maintenance. It's a really important part of safety and also just being a scuba diver. Absolutely. Um, as we come out of the winter season and, and most divers take it a little easier during that time of the year, it's a good idea before we get into the full diving season to have our gear at least inspected okay. to see if it's still working within the performance parameters and if, if not, we can tune it as well as overhaul it and get it ready for high dive season here coming up. Okay, so you, you mentioned tuning. So what does that mean Correct. in terms of equipment? Well, in terms of equipment, um, over long periods of inactivity, um, O-rings and internal parts may begin to uh, dry rot or not be as lubricated as well as they might be, so we can make fine-tuning adjustments and relube the O-rings as necessary. Right, so regulator specifically, you yes, have one here. I do. and So what do we need to look at when we are talking maintenance? What we do is, is we will inspect the hoses to ensure that they're not uh, cracking or, or leaking air around the edges. Uh, underneath each one of these fittings here is an O-ring, so we want to check that to make sure that it's still within parameters. We'll check inside the dust cap if there's a lot of corrosion in this area here. We'll, we may go into it, make sure there's not a lot of salt corrosion inside the regulator. That's one good reason for the yearly overhaul as well. To look at that and then when we move down to the second stages we will check and make sure that the mouthpiece is not torn or bitten through or anything like that and again there's bunches of o-rings and springs inside here there's also a, a silicone diaphragm here make sure it's clean not pitted so that it leaks or anything of that nature right. so it's really a good idea to have your regulator at least inspected and, and fine-tuned once a year all right, guys, that's it for us. And just remember, a safe dive is a fun dive. We'll see you guys on the next Dive the Rock.